Hey Tech here, today we are taking a look at technical analysis for S&P 500. I'll cover wave analysis with the latest wave theory and provide multiple scenarios the price may take and explain why I prefer one count over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. Starting here on 30 minute time frame and again we are starting the count from up, here, up in here oh, $4300 around the 16th of August. Since then the main idea has been that we've had this as a WXYXZ um, in which we had an ABC into W, ABC into X, and ABC into a Y, uh, then again, ABC into X. Again, why do I prefer uh, W, X, Y, X, Z at the moment? It's just because the proportions that we have with the, this X wave and the first X wave here, they are very proportionate uh, with each other, and that's why the count actually looks pretty decent. Now, if we are focusing more on the current leg that we are having, going back to the 15 minute time frame. We have some um, extension targets on the higher time frame for this sub minute count. For the Z way, we have the $3,447 area, which would be again the one to one comparing the Z or the W wave as a projection for this Z wave here. And there is also a um, some lower targets here, of course, but again, the one to one would be the main idea at this very moment. Now, as we talked about this previously, the overall idea is that we had a 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into 3rd, 4th and 5th. And again, as this is a 5-way structure, we can't end the Z wave with a 5-way structure because it again is a 3-way structure in itself. So this would uh, make this just the wave A of this wave Z. Then we would be looking for wave B uh, as a 3-way structure of some sort and then again another 5-way structure to create this ABZ ABC zigzag here um, to complete the Z wave. And then we would be looking for possible reversal. Now at this moment, if we are again uh, zooming in a bit, let's go to the five minute time frame and looking at this last structure that we are forming. Now, the minimum we want to see the B at would be around 3670. And that would be again the 38.2% re uh, retracement of this whole A wave, starting from the uh, start there. Uh, around the 3820 um, and the idea is that we are creating a three-way structure for that wave B at the moment it does feel okay and looks okay as a wave one or oh, sorry a B and C or WXY possibly into a wave A and then another three-way structure coming down here for the wave B this is definitely going to be some kind of WXY overall structure because again it is very complex looking very overlapping as well so I don't really see a uh, possibility for any kind of zigzag there. And now that wave B actually retraced almost to the start of wave A, we are uh, kind of forced into this idea where we have this as a possibility of having this as a possible flat. Now flats don't generally take more than two or extend more than, than the uh, 1.382 uh, to the one to one extension. So around 3,638 to 3,660, and that would be the area we would be looking for reversal. Now at this moment, um, this structure over here at the lows um, or the start of the C wave, we could be looking at this next. Now it is not very much too clear what this is as of yet because again, if we are looking at this at the moment, we can see that we are starting to get some kind of rejection here um, and we are not even at the 1.618, which is again the target for a th uh, third wave. So if this was the first wave, second, third, we would expect this to get to the 1.618. Of course, this could be a substructure of this whole third wave, but again, we don't really have that uh, good looking wave structure inside here. Again, we are on one minute, so we have to ac acknowledge that, that sometimes they, wave structures are not that great looking here on that very low time frame. But yeah, we just still have, have the possibility of uh, just creating a three-way structure and then uh, elongating basically the wave B here or creating something something completely different or even having this as that structure as a some kind of connector wave uh, to con connect something before it into the um, next structure over here. Um, we just don't know. I'm, I'm still looking for a possible scalp a short here if we are going to be getting uh, another wave upwards and especially if we are just getting a, a last leg up in here, getting close to the 1.618 here extension and then um, 
we would be getting that last leg in after some kind of consolidation and then we could be looking for shorts up here um, for a bit larger decrease here for that possible one two now if we are still thinking that that could be a one two then i'm not quite sure if this c is actually that valid anymore because again this would be very large of a one if we are looking at that um the 2.236 is the general target that we have for a five move that none of them none of the wave structures are extended and that is again pivoted from the one to two oh sorry zero to one to two and the 2.236 could be uh, acting as that uh, extension target and as we see that um if we are pulling this fib extension here uh anywhere the um let's see 1.618 that would be the third wave of this larger structure so i'm not quite sure if this is going to be valid because again the higher time frame expectation here was that we are staying within these areas um, that would not get us to the target of that wave b minimum so instead we might be looking at this as some kind of a, a three-way structure where we have a truncated uh truncated flat um and where we don't even reach the wave a top so that is very much of a possibility again i would be just looking at this high here um seeing the divergence there and possibly looking for kind of scalp shorts here um and we'll see how that turns out um today is going to be a volatile day it's going to be the uh if i remember correctly there was supposed to be a cpi data release today so more volatility coming into the market but again, the overall idea that I have at the moment is either we're creating this B wave or or the wave A is not done and we are still creating this some kind of a diagonal here. Uh, at the moment, it does not really look good for that because again, we are very sideways here um, and we definitely want to be seeing some kind of uh, downwards moving, moving slope here. If we are breaking this trend line that we have currently here, then it is going to be even more unlikely that this is indeed a... Uh, contracting uh, diagonal here into the end so i would still prefer the idea that we are looking for that b wave but that is pretty much the expectations at the moment i have for smp 400 if you made it this far into the video i would appreciate the likes link to my free discord server in the description below and for now i thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of your day see you next video bye bye